First, uh, we're getting a piece of breaking news. Nirbhaya's mother has now come to Anjali's residence. She's meeting with Anjali's family. Uh, you heard from her mother, Anjali's mother, a short while back. Sharon is there with us from outside Anjali's residence. Uh, so clearly, no one knows uh, better the pain and the anguish of losing a daughter to such a heinous crime, uh, Sharon, than Nirbhaya's mother. Absolutely. And if you remember, uh, it was Anjali's uncle who has in fact first said that the whole incident is uh, very similar to what has happened to Nirbhaya because there was in fact doubts in the minds of the family, the victim's family, that it was in fact a matter of uh, sexual assault. And now today we are seeing, though after the post-mortem report, uh, the family has been saying that they do agree with the Delhi police where in the post-mortem it has in fact been made clear that there was no sexual assault. Uh, but today in fact uh, we are seeing that there is candle march that is being conducted uh, uh, in remembrance of Anjali and apart from that there are people who are coming in and paying tribute and uh, sharing sympathies with the family and as part of that Nirbhaya's mother uh, is also in fact uh, uh, has visited Anjali's residence and uh, she uh, is seen speaking to the mother she's seen, seen speaking uh, to the uncle uh, and all of them in fact has been saying that uh, uh, you know that the kind of pain that Nirbhaya went through it is in fact very similar as to what uh, Anjali also felt Anjali because she was dragged for about 13 kilometers uh, the whole stretch she was dragged and the pain that she had to undergo is something that one cannot understand and that is why we are seeing that more uh, sympathies and tributes are in fact coming for Anjali not just the candle march but even now Nirbhaya's mother is also seen visiting the residence of Anjali apart from that of course the family has been demanding that section 3 not 2 also need to be included and there needs to be a capital punishment for all the accused in the case yeah. but for that the Delhi police in fact has been saying that the investigation is still going on. Uh, the FSL team also just left the Sultanpuri police station just moments ago. For about two hours, the FSL team along with DCP Harinder Singh were present in the police station and All they right. were investigating that how, after the collision, how did uh, she in fact uh, got under the car. So All right, so they were trying to recreate the scene there. But let me also get a quick word in from Siddhant who's joining us from Jantar Mantar where a candlelight vigil is going on. Uh, you know, just try and ask some of those people there, what are they protesting there for? Yes, everyone wants justice for Anjali, but we saw similar scenes 10 years ago for Nirbhaya as well. What really has changed? Well, absolutely, uh, Zaka, and uh, uh, and right now it's 11 degrees here at Jantar Mantar, but the political temperature in the national capital is rising because this entire candlelight vigil has been called by Amadmi Party. And in fact, Zaka, you can see placards uh, that uh, the Amadmi Party karakartas are holding here. Bhajpa walo sharm karo, doshiyo ko bachana band karo, Dilli ki beti ko insaaf do. In fact, uh, I can also see candles here. Uh, uh, you know, the karakartas are only uh, holding candles in solidarity with Anjali and in fact the demand is uh, necessary action against cops uh, deployed on duty on that particular day at the same time uh, you know the anger is also against the lieutenant governor sir ye bataiye ki police ne fir darj kar liya sabhi aarop arrest ho gaye uh, uch stariya jaanch chali medical board bhi bana diya gaya ki bhai agar 302 lagaya ja sakta hai to lagana chahiye police bhi is baat hai to jo candle light march kiya ja raha hai ye solidarity mein anjali ke aur kya demands hai aap logo ki demand ye hai jo halki ki dhara में मुकदमा दर्ज हुआ है वो उसको जो भाजपा का एक उसमें कार्यकर्ता है उसको बचाने के लिए काम किया है जबकि ये शुरू में 302 जो आम आदमी पार्टी उसी दिन से डिमांड कर रही है कि हल्की धारा में नहीं 302 का केस है इस तरह से दिल्ली में जब ऐसे अपराध होते रहेंगे तो इस हिंदुस्तान में और ये बेटियां किस तरह से सुरक्षित के लिए एक मेडिकल बोर्ड बनाया है आपका प्लेकार्ड में लिखा है दिल्ली की बेटी को इंसाफ दो आप बताइए सर कहां से आए हम ये धोरीपुर से आए हम दिल्ली से ही हैं दिल्ली से सर 2012 में भी कुछ ऐसी तस्वीर देखने को मिली थी नेशनल कैपिटल में सरकार भी दूसरी थी कमिश्नर भी दूसरे थे क्या कुछ बदला है नहीं बदला कुछ नहीं है आज भी वही हाल है अब ये देखिए इस बेटी के साथ जो हुआ ये गलत हुआ है 12 किलोमीटर तक उसको गाड़ी गाड़ी के नीचे खसीते हुए लेके गए हैं पुलिस कहाँ थी उस टाइम पे वैसे तो कहते हैं कि पुलिस हमारी हर जगह चप्पे चप्पे पर है कहाँ है उस टाइम पे पुलिस कहाँ थी दैट्स अ क्वेश्चन व्हिच पीपल आर आस्किंग हियर टुडे एट फ्रॉम जंतर मंतर ऑलराइट सो दैट बिलीव